that is me, and you're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Well, it all started about a month ago. Everything was perfect. After the new update, engineers were giving out uh, much better roles than before, and for me it meant that my undefeated corvette would be even better now. So I tried to find a good opponent, and the best way to get noticed is simply by talking shit. And that was exactly what I did. After my corvette was fully engineered, I went to the home system of IED, and I claimed it as my own. As long as their leader, Paul at War, has not fought me, that system would be mine. I would be the big boss around there. This means no more slavery, like none of that. And because I'm that generous, only now and then IED had to present one of their members as a human sacrifice, just to keep things in balance. Know what I mean? One day I got intel that Bullet War was not far from my system, so I immediately made contact. I never knew that it was going to be one of the biggest mistakes I ever made. What hey. it is? <laughs> In Three guesses why you are. Oh, Bullet War. I yep. was expecting <laughs> you. Is he here? Uh, I think he was here. Yeah. Polly there. Fuck. There's your answer. The Guardian AI is still there, but we had our own. And it always. Ah, it's the Mako! Ah! Fall at war! I was expecting you. I mean, is that a fight you're looking for, Paul? No. <laughs> I would never say that. It's just no. the opportunity to protect to protect people. Mm. No, I wasn't kidding, because obviously there's a Marcos here for you. Eh? Yeah. Ooh. Protect your home system, because I'm taking over. <laughs> <laughs> now, before we continue with the fight, let me tell you something about Pole at War. Out of all the corvettes that I've ever fought, I think he has the strongest one. And we fought a few times, so I was pretty confident about his loadout and how it would play out. Here are the weapons that he usually used against me. Right, okay, I'm done. Two huge multi cannons. One large multi cannon. And two enforcers. And two medium rail guns. One day I got tired of waiting, so I sent Paul a direct message, asking him if he wanted to reclaim his home system. He replied with an invite. I was stupid, so I went for it, and I took the bait, obviously. Oh, hello. Hey, Zamaka. Oh, what it is. Okay. Oh. I have arrived once more, and I demand a sacrifice. Who will it be? Paul? I think Paul said he was going to turn you over and smear butter on your right asshole. Now? Interdictor, that shit. I fought Paul before on multiple occasions, and I was pretty confident to fight him again because I knew his, ta his tactic, I knew what he was using, what he was doing. But this time, he did something he's never done before. He was trying to go backwards pretty much constantly. And this kind of forced me to chase him. And at the same time, he has those two small hard points. They also push me away. So if I use flight assist off, it's kind of hard for me to aim. So once again, it forced me to go into flight assist off.
things started to get pretty interesting when Paul cancelled pretty much all my cell banks and I forgot to click one specific button. Problem I have is I only have one each sink. Yes, same. That's what uh, I was doing yeah. when I was running away from you. I was trying to um, synthesize and he's saying, but you kept catching oh. up with me. Yeah, but I tried to run away from you, but uh, your fighter stopped me synthesizing. Ah, uh, yeah, I see. Yeah. Because once it's still in the fire, and I just couldn't escape the fire. Let me know when you want to quit. I want to quit. <laughs> Sounds like Paul's about him. I want to quit. I said I want to quit. I want to fucking... I was fucking muted. Oh shit. Sorry, mate. And you keep going, I'm like, what the fuck? And I see the fucking button, it's <laughs> still orange. <laughs> After drifting in space for hours, I got picked up by a rescue anaconda. Even though I lost this fight, I'm still not done here. These motherfuckers will pay.